What's up, people? I am back. Sorry about Saw. I, I Two reasons I didn't review it. I watched it last night, but because I'm not at my house, I don't have a TV here. I'll just be honest. I wanted two reasons. I had to go to work this morning, so I, I had to be up early. So I, I, that was part of the reason. But also, I want to watch it on my nicer TV. So next Tuesday, I decided to forgo doing it last night. So, Tuesday, next Tuesday, or it should be next week in general, but I'm probably going to do Tuesday, though. I will review the first saw. We'll go into it. So, or, either I do that, or maybe I'll do, maybe I might, we're going to do 2011 next Monday. Maybe Tuesday, depending on what's going on, maybe Tuesday morning. I'll do Saw 1, and we can just do Saw 2. So I might try to do both. We'll see. But today, this is more of a rant video. This isn't necessarily um, uh, a stream. I mean, uh, not a stream, but this isn't like a review. This is me just kind of venting about, because there's some gender-neutral law going into effect here in California, where stores have to now... Um, Part of the video, reason I'm doing this video, my friends at uh, uh, Talk Nerdy Mara and Steph did an article about this, and I live here, so figure why not rant about it. They're doing, apparently, yeah, the gender neutral law where you can no longer basically have things exclusively for, like, you can't have a boy section or a girl section. When it was never an issue when I was coming up, because ultimately, and it's not like, you know, girls couldn't... I knew girls who bought action figures. Like, when I was coming up, I, I'd sometimes see girls pick up, like... Oh, you, you know, I saw a girl pick up a Batman figure or whatever, you know, guy figure and shit. No one... It was never a fucking problem, but now making this a law... Well, before I go into that, I gotta just say it. California is just a joke of the say. This used to be my home, and I just... Now I am like embarrassed to be from here. This is so I get, you know I'm writing about this gender neutral law, but I'm also gonna just be going in on the state a little bit. Just it has become an absolute shithole, like in every meaning of the word. Obviously, I mean it's been doc well documented the whole homeless problem and and all that, and obviously the dumb politics are here. So I'm not gonna go. I don't want to go too into politics in that aspect. But, like, this is just stupid. Like, this was never a problem. And it just shows, it highlights how out of touch these politicians are that are here. Because let's be real. <clears throat> Normal Californians are not thinking about this shit. They don't care about... <laughs> Boy sections and girl sections. Only these weird woke fucks and dumbasses who run this. It's almost like the, it's done just to be a distraction. Like this is what you're focusing on. You know, you have a we have a go, I have a governor who welcomed with open arms a communist dictator. You know, the Chinese uh, president just it, with open arms. The one time he decides to clean San Francisco just to do that. funny as i joked about this in the when in the stream when mara and stuff were talking about this but <clears throat> the the amount of targets that have shit behind security walls anyway <clears throat> so it's like oh little sally you can play you know you don't have to you can play with boy figures now but it's gonna be behind a fucking security wall security glass <clears throat> because motherfuckers steal and instead of combating the stealing they're just gonna punish everyone else and you know <clears throat> and it fucked up because they supported the looting. So it, it just adds to this. So this is all just performative. Because this actually does fucking nothing. What does this actually do? 
everyone's already leaving the state because of how high the inflation is and how high the, just everything is in terms of prices. So the, the thing to combat it is, oh, let's do some gender-neutral toy law that is irrelevant. And it's just stupid. There are boys' things, there are girls' things. There's nothing wrong with that. This weird, like, we gotta make everything gender-neutral all the time. Like, boys and girls like different things. And also, by the way, girls can buy action figures. There's not, like, some fucking security guard just ready to beat the shit out of little Sally if she wants to get a Batman figure. Or a Jurassic Park figure. Like, a figure that's considered a boy's toy. Or vice versa, if little fucking Johnny wants to play with Barbie. You know, there's not some security beating the shit out of him just because that's not how this works. You can just buy it. You can just go there. It's insane to me. Like, this is the shit they're focusing on. When we got, like, this crazy homeless problem that, that every, even people outside the fucking country know about. We're a joke. California is. And this is the shit they want to focus on. This is not going to do anything. And honestly, in a perfect world, none of these stores actually follow it. They just say, fuck you, we're going to do it anyway. Boys and girls sections, but they're not. Target's woke as fuck, so they're just going to follow it and go fucking... And just make it all confusing. And it doesn't actually... This, let's say this again. It doesn't actually do anything. What does this actually do? People... Shit is still expensive as fuck here. We have crazy homeless problem we have dumb policies none of this actually doesn't change shit oh oh the amount of bit people's businesses that were closed down for two years because of the because of how retarded our governor handled covid that's the most political i'll get on this video but i just this video is just this whole it's almost as become a california rant not just a rant about the whole gender neutral thing but that is really what it has become you know, like, it's... This state I used to really love. Like, the only thing I could say nice about it still is it's beautiful. But that's it. It's beautiful, though, is fading. It's fading quick. Because the, the moral corrupt... The state is corrupted, I think, is the perfect word I'm thinking right now. It's corrupted. It's rot almost rotten to the core now. It's, un like... I don't blame people who just leave. And when you have shit like this, and this is what they want to focus on, some, oh, you know, because we got to be inclusive. Oh, you know, girls and, we don't need girls toys and boys toys and sex kids or whatever the fuck, gender, whatever the fucking words they, these weirdos use. And it's like, uh, it's just so frustrating because this does nothing. This is just, this is legit virtue signaling. When you have a, I'm going to my governor real quick. I have a governor who locked us down for two fucking years, even after other states like Florida and Texas were open all during COVID, you know, and all the, all that shit. And none of, none of that sky, ironically, COVID skyrocketed here <laughs> and not there. But, but this is the type of shit he wants to do, you know, or welcome in fucking, you know, literal communist dictators. You know, clean, clean San Francisco to do that. You know, you have like tent cities. And they're not just in the hood, by the way. The whole, it's not just in the hood. It's not just in bad fucking areas. I was in fucking Santa Monica and there was a tent city there today. Not a giant one, but there was one there. Like, you know, there was like a neighborhood where you saw like at least three or four tents in the, in the fucking sidewalk. And no one does anything about it. You know, people could just steal shit in your targets. But this is the shit you want to focus on. You know, you have to hide everything behind fucking security glass. Even fucking cleaning shit. Not every target has that. I went to a target yesterday that didn't actually have that. I was actually shocked. But a lot of them do now. And it's insanity. But no one does anything about it. But then you want to focus on this dumb shit. This video wasn't going to be long because it's going to just be me ram kind of rambling angrily. So I'm going to call it here. But yeah, I just, this shit's frustrating. It, it, it does go past the, this gender neutral law. 
Because to be honest, I mean, and also on just principle, it's retarded. Why are you, this is like, it, it, well, this is what you want to focus on. Even if, let's say, everything was run well, I'd be like, this is fucking retarded. This is what you want to focus on? No one's stopping little Sally from buying a fucking Marvel figure. No one's stopping little Billy. He wants to play with a fucking Barbie or a doll. No one's stopping them. There's not some security at these parts of the store. When I was coming up, there wasn't just... <laughs> Fucking security fucking sparing the shit out of Sally because they want to keep her out of the, the Batman toy. That wasn't happening. So the fact that this is even a thing is fucking retarded. Oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah. I hate this state. It, I, I used to love it, and it's just, it's turned, it, it's been a shithole the last arguably two decades really but for me that i've noticed at least the last maybe 10 years maybe a little bit more but it's just it's sad to watch so when you do shit like this we're just it's like when i when i first saw it, i'm like god man we're already the laughing stock of the country with you know how you know i would argue we were the laughing stock before that but i really feel like it was solidified with the whole the way fucking um, knew some handled COVID in the lockdown. That's easily, when that happened, the way he handled it, that solidified, yeah, we're a joke. We were a joke before, but I'd argue, like, it's evident now. So, anyway, I'm going to talk about something more positive. At least a little, I'm hoping more positive anyway, with bad CGI Gator. I'm, I'm going and expecting a bad movie just with a name like that. It knows what it is, so if it can just be a dumb fucking fun action, like, bad, you know, literally, the day the name, bad CGI gator movie, you know, really bad CGI kills, the sh gator looks trash, especially from what I saw of the thumbnail that's got a pick for the thumbnail I pick. It's like, if it can just be dumb fun, like, kind of like Leprechaun in the Hood, or even like Jason X, you know what, it's fine. Obviously... I know it's not going to be good, but it could just be dumb, fun, bad movie. That's all I want. I'm hoping it's what I wanted fucking Santa Joss to be. So I'm hoping that's what this is. But anyway, I'll be doing that tomorrow. Friday, I'm watching Beekeeper. So I'm going to probably review that Friday and then sometime this weekend, I'm going to roast that shitty new Mean Girl movie. And then after, we'll review the original. So I probably... Hoping the mean that shitty mean girls movie's up like on by either Thursday or Friday, and then I can review it Saturday, and then the original I'll review the original on Friday. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna call it here. Talk to y'all tomorrow. This law is retarded as fuck. Talk to y'all later.